Hello and welcome to jasonnewland.com. My name is Jason Newland. This is Relax and Sleep Hypnosis Daily. Please only listen when you can safely close your eyes. Thank you for joining me. And if you would like to support this free service, please go to paypal.me forward slash Jason Newland. The link is on my website. There's also uh, over 1,500 free recordings on my website that you can stream for free and also you can download them. Uh, so there you go, it might be worth a visit. Now, in this recording, we're going to be focusing on your hands. Okay, and what we're going to be doing is imagining putting on a pair of gloves. Now I realize, you know, where I am it's summer, so they're not going to be like big, you know, warrusy gloves full of fur and anything like that. They're just going to be very light-fitting cool gloves but they're going to be magic gloves and I'll tell you why in a minute so before we go into that I'd like you to get yourself comfortable now I don't mention this very often but it's, it's important to remember that you don't have to stay in any particular position so let's say you start off listening to this recording, sitting down, um, you know, you're just sitting there. But if for any reason you get uncomfortable and you, you need to move, then move. Do what you need to do. If you need to stop and stand up and stretch and then sit down again, you do that as well. Whatever is suitable for your physical condition because you know talking from a, a personal perspective I have lower back issues and sometimes it's worse than other times sometimes I will have to stand up for a bit to stretch my back just to take the pressure off so if you're in a similar situation, or just generally, you know, if you've got an itch, scratch it. You know, whatever you need to do. There are no rules when you're listening to this. This is about being kind to yourself. This is about giving yourself a rest. Uh, giving, allowing yourself to feel calm. So it's a very relaxing time. So I just thought I'd mention that. So that you know that you can do whatever you wish to do. In order for you to feel comfortable. Because, of course, you're going to feel relaxed. And on a level, you know, that's going to be comfort. But you can feel relaxed and, you know, maybe have your neck in the wrong position. So maybe your neck's leaning back. You're on a reclining chair and your neck's back. And maybe your neck feels a little bit uncomfortable. Yet you're really relaxed at the same time. It's easy to forget and just ignore the neck. Well, don't do that. Just put your neck into a comfortable position. You know, you can tick all the boxes with this. You can feel comfortable, relaxed. And at the end, you know, there's no point in feeling relaxed for 20 minutes and then, you know, 
finishing the recording and realise you've got a, a stiff neck because you've been leading in the wrong way or um, maybe you're lying in bed and perhaps you've been leaning on one side and you've got a stiff shoulder or something. You don't need to do that. You can do whatever you want. If you're in bed, lying down, you can lie on your back. You can lie on your side. You can lie on your front. You do what you want to do. There are no rules. You're the one that makes the rules when it comes to your own comfort. And I would suggest that in day-to-day -day life as well. Wear clothes that are comfortable for you. Now I know that fashion can be quite demanding for those that follow fashion. You know, sort of wearing clothes that maybe are not as comfortable as you would like. But that's a choice as well. That's up to you what you do. I've never been fashionable anyway, so I'm okay. But I prefer loose fitting clothes generally, but especially when I'm relaxing. If you're sitting there listening to a recording and you've got a tight belt on that's you know putting pressure on your stomach. That's uncomfortable. That's, you know, or if you've got a tight bra on or you've got um, socks that are tight. Just make yourself comfortable whatever you need to do. Because this is your time. And as I said, I'm not just talking about while you're listening to these recordings, but also in your day-to-day -day life. If you've got home from work and you want to relax, then maybe change your clothes or get into something, as they say, a little bit more comfortable so that you can relax, so that you've got nothing restricting your body or the blood flow there's no one to impress. I say that, but I don't know if I've ever worn clothes that ever impressed anybody. So comfort is the number one rule that I have. And it's a rule that I have. It's not a rule that anyone else has to live by. But it almost seems... Um, I don't know, maybe a little bit silly to try to relax or, you know, when you're feeling physically uncomfortable due to what you're wearing. Unless, I guess, if you're at work and, you know, you're just spending a few minutes working on relaxing yourself so in that situation maybe you're not wearing the ideal clothes to relax but that doesn't need to get in the way of you feeling calm and another benefit of listening to these recordings daily is Fair enough, you feel more relaxed and calm and loose as you let go of everything for, you know, a little while while you're listening to my boring voice. But that feeling of relaxation, that sensation of comfort throughout your body and the your mind slowing down and just the feeling that you have that peaceful feeling starts to occur 
more often. You may begin to notice it more often when you're not listening to me. At other times, you might just notice that, oh, I'm feeling quite relaxed now. I'm feeling quite calm. You may notice that things that used to bug you a bit, you know, used to bother you, used to annoy you in the past. Maybe some of those things don't have the same effect that they once did. Which is another really useful thing. So it's almost as though as in meditation, you might meditate for 30 minutes a day, sitting on a cushion or in a chair or kneeling down, whatever the meditation uh, posture you prefer. But it's what happens when you're not on the cushion or in the chair. It's what happens when you're not meditating that's the most important thing. Because it's easy to relax, given the you know the right circumstances, a bit of peace, a bit of uh, a bit of time away from other people, a bit of you know a bit of space that's yours, and then maybe you know listening to to me waffling on about comfort and relaxation in your body and letting go of everything and all that stuff. It can be fairly easy just to feel really relaxed and calm and your mind does slow down. And it's not just because uh, I'm using magical words. It's just this less to focus on. You're just focusing on my words. You're focusing on my voice. You're focusing on the comfort that you feel in your body as that level of relaxation increases and continues to spread through your body almost maybe like in waves moving through your body through your bones your muscles healing all the different parts of your body including your major organs your blood your bones and into your brain your spinal cord and your mind automatically slows down in this situation because there's nothing else for it to do it's not required to do anything it's not needed in fact so you, your mind also has an opportunity to relax. And because it's got nothing else to do, nothing to worry about, nothing to get all excited about, because, you know, let's face it, this, you wouldn't describe listening to me as exciting that's not the word you would use is it boring maybe calming so your mind has nothing much to do except just listen to me talking which in turn relaxes it even more So those are the benefits in the moment 
of listening and participating in these relaxation and sleepy sessions. Because 99% of falling asleep is relaxing and letting go. And then it's just that final 1% where you just drift. You may drift a few times and come back. You drift and come back again. And each time that you drift, if falling asleep is something that you wish to do, each time you drift, you seem to go deeper into sleep. Because in that drifting mo moment, you are actually asleep. It's no different from being asleep. You may even be dreaming. And then you wake up and you're aware of your surroundings or you're aware of me talking. And then you start to drift again. And each time you drift, you go deeper. And each time you wake up, you feel more tired. And you just almost feel the need to drift again and it's not something that you purposely do it just happens naturally and you end up drifting again and you go even deeper and then you may become aware again of hearing my voice and you feel even more tired and then you you drift much quicker each time and for longer and you go deeper and eventually you just drift off to sleep. And you're not aware that you've drifted off to sleep. It just happens. And that's that 1%. That's that tiny, you know, the smallest last part where you just go from just drifting to being asleep. It's almost like a tiny little bridge that you cross over. It's literally just a couple of steps and you're there. And you don't realise you're there. You're not aware that you're there because you're asleep. And you can enjoy the process of drifting without any concern or even any effort at all. You just allow it to happen naturally. So I'm going to ask you to imagine putting on a pair of gloves, we we'll say white gloves, white silk gloves, or maybe a material that you choose. If you choose, you can give them a different color, absolutely up to you. So you put those gloves on your hands, and what these gloves do is they are magic because they draw out all of the remaining stress and tension from your body and mind. 
And even though you're you're feeling relaxed and calm and loose and maybe you're already drifting. Maybe you, because you listen to me regularly, you gain that extra benefit by already being prepared to close your eyes and to feel instantly relaxed. And maybe it feels as if you're just carrying on from the day before or the last time you listened to me. And if falling asleep is something that you're choosing to do, it happens so easily. So easily. Now as you focus on your hands with those gloves, those magic gloves that are going to extract all of the remaining stress and tension out of your body which will cause your body and your mind to naturally experience that sensation of having that stress removed which in turn increases the physical comfort and relaxation in all those parts of your body and mind so that you feel so much healthier you feel more relaxed and calm and your mind is almost it's almost like your mind has just disappeared it's just you there Focusing on your hands with your magic gloves on. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to count from 20 down to 1. And with each number, those magic gloves are continue, will continue to suck all of those feelings of stress and tension out of your body and your mind into those gloves including any tension that you have in your hands because the tension and stress is not being moved to your hands but into the actual gloves themselves So what you may find is your hands are the first parts of your body to really feel that comfort. To really feel the pleasure that you can gain from enjoying that healing energy at work within your body. As any remaining Feelings of discomfort, stress or tension are now being removed from your body and your mind and being sucked out by those gloves that are currently on your hands. Those magic gloves 
And as soon as those feelings reach your gloves, they disappear. They disappear. Those feelings disappear, which leave only positive, nice, relaxing, calm feelings. Relaxed and calm. As I count down from 20 down to 1. And you can feel. You can really feel. The energy changing in your body. You can really feel that relaxation. And calmness. Spread. Even wider. And even deeper. Almost on the molecular level. Counting from 20 down to 1. And each number you feel more and more calm. And relaxed. Twenty. Nineteen. Eighteen. Seventeen. Sixteen. Fifteen. Fourteen. Seven, ten, Oh. Uh. 
Ooh. Yeah. Mm-hmm.